Watu wengi wanaweza kuwa na maswali. Eh, mimi kumuona mzee Shusho. It's I think so in once kuona zindua diamond jubilee. I was very tiny. That's the last time nimemuona. We don't see much of him. Hata ukimpost kama hey, this is my husband and what not. Lakini pia tumeona ameanzisha kanisa, alikuwa na kanisa and now you have your own church. What is happening? Watu wanaweza kuwa na speculations. Is there trouble in paradise? Kuna shida in <laughs> So njoo wabongo yani wabongo wape picha tu wao watatengeneza story wenyewe kuna shida imetokea kati ya Christian Shusha na mume wake wengine watasema kama hapa hajavaa pete what's popping kuna shida au labda ni au ni strategy kwamba bwana mimi huku kanita huku wewe Mungu akuita kule tutakutana nyumbani kila mtu afanye kitu chake au m- please i'd like to kuuliza sana lakini that's it Uh, for me wacha nionge tu na Rosavi na naomba atakaofuatilia ili wafuatilie tu waamini ndio mimi I've never been fake na wa, si, sio mwongo siwezagi uongo na kile anachokiongea that's it yani ndio hicho tunamaanisha kweli ni kwamba ni assignment tu there is nothing different ya na hiyo ni assignment assignment ambayo nimejikuta sasa Mungu amenipa kipindi hiki haiwezi kukaa pale nilipokuwa haiwezi kula zaman talk and to fulfill assignment i'm not into being in pastor christina shusho by the way kwanza mtu akinita pastor christina shusho i'm not comfortable na hiyo kitu kwa sababu it doesn't change anything yani mimi ninachotaka nione kile kitu ninachotaka kukifanya na achieve that's me it's nothing about being a pastor mimi kuna watu ambao niko nao nime pastor i promote them and i want them to know they are pastors mimi ni mtu niko na dream kuna kile kitu nataka nikione hicho kama ndio kufanya hivyo ndio kuwa pasta i don't know but mimi nita ni, sitapendelea watu waniite pasta sitapendelea watu wani. sio kwamba sio pasta ama, ama sifanyi kazi ya pasta nadhani i have more niko na more ambao natakiwa kufanya mtu akiniona leo aniite Christina Christina Shusho ambaye amejulikana. So turudi kwa mzee na rudi tu kusema ni assignment. Assignment ambayo Mungu sasa amenipa it's bigger than the place we were. Na hiyo nilikuwa ni kwa amani tu. Oya, ni ruhusu mimi nikapiga mzigo kama kawaida yangu. Mimi ni punda. Wacha nikabebe mzigo, waendelea na utumishi ulioiti. Eh, hakuna shida kabisa. Tena peaceful hakuna shida na mimi ninatoka kule kuja kufanya huku there there my friends hapo kanisani kwetu kwa zamani ni home huko ndo nimelelewa huko ndo maisha yangu yote nimespend they are my people lakini huko ni assignment umeona mimi anytime nikitaka kwenda kule naenda lakini vile tu sasa busy 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 na huko hivyo na nalika wengine mimi nikija huko ni kuja mwenyewe yani mwenyewe Mungu kabisa akakwambia toka hapo ulipo. Yaani umwache mmeo. Sio kama yeye ni mwili mmoja kwamba you do the same thing. Kwamba alichomuitia Mungu alichomuita alichoweka ndani ya mume wako ni sawa na alichoweka kwako. Never. Wewe 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 kuolewa na alichokiweka Mungu don't acha kutusidanganyane. Usidanganyane. <laughs> kuolewa ni part. Lakini alichokiweka Mungu ndani yenu ni vitu vya tofauti. Mungu anataka kuwekea hichi na mwingine akamwekea hichi. Kinachotakiwa tu mfike kwenye agreement nielewe alicho nacho mwanzangu na yeye aelewe nilicho nacho alafu tuone ni wapi tunaweza kuwa tuna tunakutana lakini haina maana ukinioa kama na kile nilicho nacho kinafa no unless ulikuwa una kitu na nadhani napenda sana swali kwa sababu hicho ndo kinaumiza wanawake wengi unakuta inabidi ufuate kile cha mwanaume na sio chako usi wacha mwanaume aendelee na kile anachokifanya na wewe ufanye kile unachokifanya mradi tu Mwe mmeelezana kwamba bwana mimi hiki hiki kiko ndani yangu na wewe hiki kiko ndani yako tuone tu mahali gani tunaweza kukutana ila mmoja asiharibu cha mwingine kwa sababu kama mimi nina kitu ambacho Mungu ameweka ukikiharibu uenda hiki kilikuwa na kilikuwa na more grace kuliko hata hicho unachokifanya lakini mwanaume ukisema utumie bounce au uwe kile cha kwangu sio kwamba umeua cha kwangu tu umejiua mwenyewe kwa sababu kile cha kwangu ambacho Mungu amenipa kina mo uenda kina grace ambayo ingeweza uendelee na au mimi mwanamke nikizuia cha mwanaume uenda kile cha, kitu cha mwanaume ambacho Mungu alikuwa amempa kilikuwa na grace pia ya kuja ku flourish kuja kustawisha hiki cha kwangu so mimi na advice kwa mwanamke wote anayeniangalia usiue kile kitu cha Mungu ambacho amekupatia eti kwa sababu ya mume ana kitu changine you will always be different kwa sababu 
nilivyoitwa mimi ni tofauti na alivyoitwa mume wangu. Wengine wana neema ile kwamba wameitwa same. Lakini kwa Tanzania tuko wachache sana tuliitwa same. <laughs> tuliitwa same. Kwa yule ambaye anataka kuua cha, cha Mungu ndani yake ati kwa sababu ya uh, partnership ya mume na discourage. Ya tuna 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 uwezo enough wa kuweza ku handle vyote viwili kwa pamoja na tukaenda mbinguni sasa. Wageni okay, mko pamoja ndoa ipo family. Oh, yes. Mimi ushai kunisikia na ishushu. <laughs> Mimi ni vile tu amuonaki mimi nikipost I don't I let it pass. Nikikani posti familia yangu if it doesn't bring anything. Why? Alafu alafu mimi ndio niko huko. Ni nimetengenezwa yani Mungu amenitengeneza enough ku fight ile vita vyangu. You see once you are exposed a certain level Mungu pia anakuwa pia amekujenga na namna ya kupigana na ile level unaenda naye. Ukija ukaleta watu ambao hawajatengenezwa kufight ile vita unawaua unawaumiza bila sababu za msingi. Kwa mimi naendelea kuwa keep tu wao wakitengenezwa misuli yao kiwa imara yani wakakomaa skin. Nao pia wataanza kujileta wenyewe. Eh watakuja tu wenyewe. Kwa hiyo yule anayetegemea kuwaona Mungu awatie nguvu. <laughs> All right. Ulikuwa kwenye TG. Ilikuwaje kama umetoka kwenye TG and now you have your own thing. Au uko uko chini ya gani? Sasa hivi tuka na huduma inaitwa The Dreamer Center tuko nayo hapa ni ni kitu kipya kabisa na ambacho bado kinajengwa au tunasema uh, mwanzo unakuwa na maana ukifika fika mwisho au uko mbele ya safari sasa hivi watu wanaoelewa wanaweza kana maswali mengi maswali mengine siwezi kujibu lakini wanipatie muda yeah muda utajibu unadhani TG labda ina misimamo tofauti kwa kuna vitu vingine viko unnecessary no matter my mocks ma uko siwezi kwenda TAG is my church na misingi yote yote ninachokifanya nimelelewa na TAG hizo hilo ndo kanisa langu na haya mengine ni makanisa bora ni, kwa sababu huku wa, let me tell you one thing eh nikija huku haina maana mimi sio mtaj mimi sio mpentecost ni vyote hivyo hiyo ndio misingi misingi ya tj misingi ya pentecost hiyo ndio iliyo nilea mimi ndio imenifanya niwe hapa siwezi kwenda kinyume na hiyo misingi ninachokifanya ninasimamia assignment hii sio dini kwamba utaanza sheria siji nini na nini ah hii na kanuni na tunacho focus tulichoitiwa tunakifanya lakini misingi ambayo tulishajiangewa huku kwenye mapentecost na tj hiyo tu ndo tunaenda nayo. Eh, kama ni kutokuvaa heleni kama hivi kama hivi dhambi basi tutazivua. Kwa sababu tushafundisha. Huko sasa nene kama ingekuwa ni serikali ukasema hii ni wizara nasimamia wizara fulani. And I would love to encourage everyone. Mtu asiogope kama una assignment Mungu amekupa. Ame Usinganganie kusema kwa sababu ya upendekosti wangu, utieji wangu mimi siwezi. No no no. Assignment ni assignment na assignment haikutenganishi na mzazi. You see uki grow ukasema wanze sasa kupambana kujitegemea haifanyi wewe usiwe mtoto wa fulani lakini tu ni kukua umekua lazima kama mtu mzima wanze kusimama na majukumu yanayokuhusu mwenyewe lakini bado utaendelea kuwa mwana wa makenzi binti makenzi si ndio na hiyo haitabadilishwa that's who christianize okay. yeah. nice una ni kuna ubaya mkatoliki akaamua kuolewa na mteji au mrutele akaamua kuolewa na mteji au mkatoliki akaamua kuolewa na mteji au mrutele kuolewa na teji maana imeleta shida sana unaona wengine wanatengwa makanisani haifai hauko sawa na sisi issue ni moja issue ni kwenda mbinguni teji na nchonganisha huyu nikuchonganisha nimemuuliza Samuel Sasari the same thing eh yes yeye akasemaje ndio interview Sometimes kweli kuna vitu ambavyo vinakera na watu ambao wanakuja ni waharibifu wanaweza karibu kanisa. Kuna vitu ambavyo inabidi uchukue tu lakini sio ule muumini wa kusema kutenga tenga watu ovyo. Kwa sababu na naamini ingi wakati mwingine tunaandaga mikutano kwa gharama kubwa ili kumpata mtu huyo. Mmoja tu aje kwa Yesu. Na ule mtu naye mpata mmoja hakuagi kwamba aliokoka huko ila ndo unaenda kuanza naye. Kwa anapokuja kanisani unaanza kudili naye. Kwa hiyo kama kuna namna ambavyo unaweza bado ukamsaidia mtu ukamvumilia mkamchukulia namna ambavyo mnaweza mkamsaidia kanisani badala ya kumtenga na kumwacha let's do that kwa sababu ukimtenga ukamwacha huko ni kama umeharibu ume ile pesa uliyoandaa mkutano and then second ya kuolewa na TAG au kuolewa mkatoliki kuja huko wazi watakuja kunipiga ujue no but i 
Christina. Naomba nisijibu. <laughs> Wase wa Christina. Kuna watu wanataka kufahamu, wanataka kujua like exactly. Kuna watu wako stranded, wako stranded kwenye situation. Uolewi na dini, Uole, unaolewa na mtu. Huyo mtu unaolewa naye ni waina gani? Hmm? Kwa sababu wakati mwingine unaweza kuolewa na mtiaji mwenzio akawa ni shetani na nusu uko ndani kwa sababu uliangalia dini na sio the person naomba kama mkristo niongee hili narudia huolewi na dini unaolewa na mtu yule mtu unayolewa naye ndio muangalie huyu ni yupi anakusaidia kuzifikia ndoto imagine sasa mimi ni mtu wa dream eh? mm-hmm. anakusaidia kuzifikia ndoto zako na kabla huja make decision kama binti kabla huja make decision tafuta ushauri wa kukutosha sana it's not a thing about dini dini sawa ni inatusaidia lakini maisha utaishi na TAG nyumbani kwako utaishi na ule mwanaume au na ule binti so tafuta ushauri mzuri sana wa kukusaidia na namna ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kuchagua partner mzuri and then the rest imani yako itakusaidia sana to be strong on your marriage yeah Wow, sante. Mwisho kabisa tunapomalizia na Christina I've had a great time. Lakini like, mbona juzi ume comment tunampenda wema. Wolpa. Ngoja tuanze kuangalia. Christina na Wolpa wapi na wapi? Na wema. Uka post kabisa my beautiful ladies. Mimi nawapendaga. Kweli Yaani watu wako wameshanga how yani relationship iko vipi mnaongeaaga mnaopiga simu mna hang out labda sisi siku tunaweza kukuta samaki samaki pale da Christina yuko na wema yuko na wolpa yuko na kina uoya is that even possible na watafuta kwa sababu kidogo nilikuwa na vishilingi vichache vilikuwa vimebaki baada ya covid nataka tuwe na tutoke kama ni samaki samaki tuende kula so kipindi kile ilikuwa ni mfungo lakini sasa hivi si mwezi umeisha so watu wanakula si ndio mimi niko kwenye maombi ya siku saba nitamaliza sunday and then mimi na waomba nataka kutengeneza urafiki nao i really need them and i'm very serious on this sio kama natania eh, nataka tu urafiki nao nataka urafiki nao nini hao specifically wanafaa si ni wanawake wazo kwenye nini eh urafiki tu Unataka kuna kuna assignment flani hivi unataka uokoke? No, mimi ni mimi uokoke. Ah ah. Mimi shida yangu sio wao kuokoka. Wokovu ni uamuzi. Wokovu you don't push anybody to, to kuingia kwenye wokovu. Lazima apige hesabu zake kama unamfaa uvipi. Mimi ni ile tu nataka tu. Tunaweza nadhani tukikana wale watu tukibadilishana mawazo. Tu, kuna, tu, kuna kitu kizuri kinaweza kuja. Na, na naisi. And I feel it very deep. I feel it. Mwapata. Sasa hata namba simu sina. Badi baka leo na interview zote hizo. Wema, wewe pana nani mwingine? Uoya mwingine? Um, uoya all those beautiful ladies. Amisa. Wote. Wote. Unataka wote mimi nawataka. Yaani urafiki tu, shida yangu tu ni urafiki na yeah. Basi urafiki tu. I think I think kuna kitu kizuri Mungu anataka akizalisha hapo. I think kwenye story ya Mungu kuna kitu kizuri ambacho Tanzania inataka kizaliwe. Pamoja na wao. Ni vile tu wako kwenye saidi yao kuna kitu wana miss hapa saidi nyingine. Uende na mawazo ambayo nikiwapa watakama kuna kitu kizuri. Na uende wana mawazo wakinipa naweza nikama kuna kitu kizuri kwa saidi yangu na wao kwa saidi yao. So I think tukutane tu mnisaidie tu tufanye urafiki kwa sababu huwezi kufanya kazi na adui yako ndio maana nasisitiza kwanza tufanye urafiki and then the rest mambo mazuri yanazaliwa i think mambo mazuri yanazaliwa and this this idea ina pesa nyingi yani wakikubali tu ni kitu ina pesa kama any project i don't know i don't know but ni conviction tu iko tu ndani yangu i think ni conviction but mimi naomba tu urafiki nao na ni kitu kizuri urafiki tu bila hila Jamani nimesikia na Christina naomba urafiki na au beautiful ladies wema Hamisa e, urafiki 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 tena naomba sina tena namba za simu maskini ya Mungu na mimi niko huku Manzese basi mnite mbele yake DM sijajaribu jaribu omba namba oh my god Ah <laughs> jamani kama umesikia da Christina kwanza asante sana shukran sana nimejifunza mambo mengi na we I'm sure ambao uko nyumbani ambao unaangalia this online right now utakuwa umejifunza mambo mengi from the beautiful sister of ours uh, dada Christina Shusho na nikushukuru kwa kuepa pamoja nasi thank you again for agreeing to sit have a sit down with me uh, nikukumbushe tu kwamba da Christina ametoa wimbo wake mpya ambao anaitwa Lita Peter 
uh, ni wimbo mzuri 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 sana ambao utaweza kubadilisha maisha yako alafu sikai kimya sana da Christina it's been too long niko kimya <laughs> Napenda sasa ngine kukaa kimekuwa toka kila saa kuongea ongea unaongea nini? Utakosa cha kuongea sasa. Unaona uko na dreamers tu na sisi tunataka mziki. Uh, pole pole. <laughs> Alright, kama umesikia yes, go check out her song ambayo iko YouTube sasa hivi una message nzuri sana ambayo unaweza kukibadilisha maisha yako lakini pia licho kiongea hapa kama we ni mkijana mdogo au umeguswa kwa namna yoyote please chukua licho kiongea maana kina maana in one way or the other. Thank you very much. My name is Zet Mackenzie. This was Dizzy Online. Remember, we always got you covered. <laughs>